Welcome to raigarkul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about Rally, a product from Broadcom, which is used for project management. So in 2024, what all features we have inside Rally as a project management tool, we'll have a look on it. Available from start to end of this video, which will help you to understand each and everything in detail. If you wanted to learn more about Rally or CA Agile Centro. Earlier, the theme was the Agile Centro. Now, the rename Ed Rally after acquisitions from Broadcom. So, Broadcom is the main umbrella where Rally exists, which is widely used product across the globe as a part of project management. If you're working into Agile methodologies or Agile framework, Rally is best fit for your organization to so start your project management journey. If you wanted to create an account on Rally, navigate it to rally1.rallydev.com website, create your account. After the request, you will get notifications email and majorly use enterprise email ID. If you don't have the enterprise email ID, you will not able to get anything in free. As of now, I'm using free versions, but more or less, this is having similar frame when you are using for your premium version. But in free versions, we have the restrictions of number of user. In premium versions, you don't have any restrictions on a number of users. Here, requested for the account and once Broadcom will approve, you will get the trial license for one user for free. You can see, I will use this platform for login or this window for the login where I will enter my credentials and then I will jump into the project. Whenever you log in based on your permissions, you will have all those projects are listed. If you wanted to create a new project, simply go to here, click on those icons and see this window where you can first create your workspace. Under one workspace, you might have multiple projects. This is for your organization. So let's consider we have multiple sister company who is targeting to create their multiple projects. So workspace is giving you a space where you can create as many as projects you want. Let's consider you are working into the e-commerce domain and one of your sister companies supporting to multiple clients into e-commerce domain. We can create e-commerce as a workspace and we'll add all those clients project under this. Just click on workspace and then specify the workspace name. Add the descriptions. I will add e-commerce. More specify the descriptions where you can target just e-commerce project. State as open owner is me where I will become an administrator of this workspace. Default project access for the new users. If you want, you can give just viewer or editor totally up to your permissions label. Time zone as of now, we have not specified. But if you see all your clients are from the US regions, specify the US region time spam. If you see your users are from the different regions like IST or CET, all those time zone you have to specify it here. Data formats, you can specify the data formats as 5IMMDD and date and time formats you can select as per your project's need. Now, enable build and chain set. You can say it yes for all those. Workdays are Monday to Friday. But if you want, where your companies are working or supporting for Gulf country, where they have the working culture of Sunday and Saturday. Mostly they are having holiday on Thursday and Friday. That also you can change it. Add the notes if any. Work product prefix. These are by default prefix. But if you want, you can change it. So let's consider you are creating a user story. It will start with US and then some random number. If you are creating some defect, it will start with DE. Creating with defect suit, that is DS. Test cases, TC and task, that is TA. You can change it at any point of time. 
whenever your projects continue if you want you can modify it even further now based on these informations it will create projects to i will just add this and whichever mandatory fields are there you can just add it and then it will add your project details enable yeah, time zone will select ist okay now we can create the workspace this will take some time to create the workspace details but after that you will get an options to create your projects you can see this workspace is created successfully next item we can create our project so if you wanted to add any of our projects let's consider we are working with any client whose name is abc we'll add the uh, project name as abc here this project is created successfully and whenever you're done you will just switch back to your origins positions where you can add child projects users revision history or working rules all those informations will be added here so child projects if you have one bigger project under that you are targeting to finish multiple small small projects that also you can add it here so that that will become your child projects and once you are done, you will navigate it to this sections. And from here, let's refresh it. And then we'll see the workspace as well as project. Okay, let me change the workspace. And here we have the workspace. And then I will find it out my project name. This is how we can create a workspace project name. And then we can start with creation of backlog backlog is the item where your team wanted to achieve it during the sprint if you don't know about the sprint backlog user story defects all those things i've already covered in my detail playlist here just navigate it to youtube search raigurkul or i will also include the url and description stack with this playlist where i've already created more than 45 videos on rally this will guide you from beginning to the master level where you learn each and everything in detail and trust me there's no much upgrades from the rally point of view because it's much stable projects or much stable project management tool which is used across the globe so here you will learn each and everything from scratch I've, I've covered from beginning till the advanced level to manage each and everything in this playlist. Now, to create a backlog, just click on add new, add the name or uh, user story or defect suits and anything, whichever you want. This is my projects, add the name. Let me add test. Because this is the e commerce project, let's talk about this project's under those lines product list is not available click on create and this backlog will be added successfully you can see here i was talking about the prefix so it started with us and then one us it means user story if i have selected defect that means de create with the details when you will click on this you will get this window the structure is same everywhere whenever you will start creating backlog or user story whichever way you want you can add it here let me close this discard now we'll go to the user story and you will see this all user stories are available initially in the planning point of view we have this backlog options available window is same you have to just use it and make it your project management successful in planning sections you can do uh, backlog creations user story creations time box if you wanted to add as a time box you can use it here if you wanted to add as iterations or any time frame whichever you want you can use it team planning here you can do complete planning of your team how team wanted to proceed further where you will have all those issues velocities everything here even you can create your releases if you are planning to release something you will have all those releases are available 
So it's a very structured way of doing project management where you have each and everything in dedicated frame based on these applications you can always streamline your project management journey if you want to track your iteration status select this and you'll have your iteration status available similar way you can also use the team board where your team board is listed starting with defined in progress completed or accepted even you can switch it to list view or charts view. So totally up to you how you want to customize each and everything. Talking about the quality control, here you have all those defects, defect suits, test cases, test plan, quality management, everything is lying here. I've already covered each and everything in detail. If you want to uh, understand all those things, make sure to utilize my rally playlist where you will have all those information in place in report sections you will get all the attractive reports available where you will have release burn up story burn up uh, then iteration burn up everything is listed here so as a part of my rally you will get all those reports quality management team board iteration status time box team planning backlog and user story what is new when i was talking about the report here you can see lot of reports are added earlier when i started building this playlist not all these reports are available now you can see we have plenty of reports which is giving you a detailed insight about your project's journey about your defects about your velocities about your capacity of your team each and everything is listed here in terms of custom reports you can also build the custom reports whenever you want you can import some of the visual infractions and build your project journey if you wanted to see the inside about your projects you can also have a look on it we don't have much information available in this project that's the reason you are unable to see it let me move into some other workspace and show you how other things look or how other products will look let me go to this projects and start generating the insights can you see this for predictability responsiveness each and everything flow matrix is also available where you can see all those flow matrix uh, maybe project this one as of now we don't have much information here as well that's the reason you're unable to see but don't worry I'm also going to create another video on this inside where you have each and every information listed. Custom reports, as I mentioned in custom reports, here as I'll send to line time tracker will help you to create your custom report, which can be shared among your team or among your organizations to have a look on it. In portfolio management, you can also track your releases. You can track a portfolio Kanban where you'll have multiple line items are listed and swim lanes and everything are in structured way if you want to apply filters that is also possible so it is having each and everything in detail this is a mature product of broadcom where organizations are using to make their project journey successful in terms of customizations customization is also much easier if you have the administrative permissions you can always customize this products as per your project's requirement you can do whatever you want with administrative access customize it and start using it my settings you will have all those settings available under the sections you can customize your workspace and projects subscriptions and if you want to add any extensions as a part of integrations or webhook that is also doable so it's complete suit for the project management where you can do each and everything in detail now here if i wanted to create one defect let me show you that as well under the same workspace we'll navigate it to the e-commerce we'll go to our projects and start creating user story instead of user story i will add the backlog under this i will just create add new uh, defects and the project is same 
I wanted to add the defects detail. Now let's consider uh, I wanted to report a defect where product images are not clearly visible. So I will just write it down product images are not clearly visible. Here this will become my summary. Color code I wanted to mark as pink, maybe reddish. Okay. Owner is me. Project is ABC. Submitted state. Then flow state is defined. Plan estimates. Maybe we can do it. When we are adding the descriptions of the defects, make sure to add as many as informations you have. Let's consider in this example, I wanted to specify preconditions. So we can use this type of format to make it clear for the developer to just read it and then start working on it. Otherwise, if your defect description is not clear, maybe they will disturb you again and again, asking for the informations or requesting for the informations, which will kill time frame for yours as well as the team members or the developers. Then uh, uh, steps to reproduce. After that, we have to define expected or maybe actual result. So what is the problem? That will mention it here. And in expected result, what was the expected? So if you here in steps to reproduce, we have to write it down each and every step from the login page where we are uh, jumping, what is the link and all, all those we have to mention it conditions if you have any preconditions and then additional notes if you have any if you have any attachments or recording of those issues you can also add it if you're tagging with any user story you can do it test cases or tags is also here release you can mention the release name additions expedite if any environment in which environment you're facing this is development testing staging or production what is the priority? You can specify the priority as normal. Severity, again, it's not minor. This should be uh, like cosmetic. Submitted by and then you can specify any other information and click on create. This defect will be added successfully here. You can see this icon is available. Whenever you want, you can also modify these fields like changing the color code, name, every information is editable. If you have any attachments, we can always attach documents here. Uh, no, not this one. Maybe I will just zoom it. If you have the link of any attachments and all, even you can add it. If you have the images, you can add those images for this effect and this image will be added successfully. As a part of attachments, you can also attach it from here. Let's consider I wanted to add this Excel and click on save. So your fields or artifacts will be saved successfully. Here we have added image might be because of that showing an error. Let me create and see, save it. I think we have added some um, wrong information. That's the reason we are getting an error. But most probably you have to do this way. How we can report the defects, use the story and all. Now let's recap it. We have started with creation of workspace. Then we have seen each and everything uh, of workspace, then created the projects. After that, I've explained you different models which or models which is available into this tool. Definitely that is not efficient so anyone to understand each and everything. That's the reason I mentioned. If you wanted to learn each and everything from scratch, feel free to refer my rally playlist. And here I covered how to create a user story and defect. That's all for today. If you think so, I can add more videos related to this project management tool. Feel free to add your feedback, a comment in comment sections. And if you think this is a useful, don't forget to share within your circle. For me, your feedback, and suggestions always matter. So make sure to add your suggestions in the comments so that I can improve myself. And don't stop sharing with others, which might change the life of your near and dear one. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.